Okay, well, I've had pretty good luck with this um, uh, hard, dry, crystalline cell that I'd be pointless came up with that uses uh, alum, borax, and that salt substitute. And uh, I've just been letting this one just sit out, and then I'd take uh, voltage readings off of it uh, from time to time, and the voltage isn't changing. It's days old now, and uh, I baked this in the sun for five hours. And it's hard, but the question is, is this getting moisture from the air? Now, we know there's water locked up in the molecules of the salts, but the question is, uh, am I feeding this water from the air? And uh, I've got the, the little penny oscillator here running. Uh, can't hardly even see her running, but she is. With this one that's encased in cardboard, that's the one that I... Uh, it's just like that one there, only I folded cardboard over on it and cased it so that it wouldn't uh, come apart because they're fragile. And she's running, and she's been running just fine. I take voltage readings off of this uh, every so many hours. And it's holding about 1.1 volts under load. That's what it sounds like. It's very dim. Uh, that's just the way this oscillator is set up. But what I thought I'd try today was I'm going to put it in this container and then I'm going to put these desiccant uh, packets in with the oscillator, close it up, and then I'll be able to listen with the radio and watch those blinking LEDs. And as this dries out with those desiccant things, as the air dries out, I should be able to see a slowdown in the blink rate and I should be able to hear it with the radio. And what I'm going to use is this uh, damp rid, which is calcium chloride that uh, I've been using in other experiments. Uh, John Bedini turned me on to this, and it absorbs water out of the air. And I don't know if the camera can pick this up or not, but this is what it looks like on a paper towel. It sucks the moisture right out of the air. And uh, I made a little packet right there of it. So what I'm going to do is put, uh, put Penny in there and then seal it up with that and then observe for 24 hours and see what happens. Then I'll pull her out and take a voltage reading real quick and see what the voltage is like. But I'll show you what I'm going to do here. Put this down. I'll take her and I'll put her in this little house, <laughs> penny house. Then I'll put these desiccant packets in here that'll take the moisture out of the air. Then I'll just seal this up. And there she is in her little house. And I'll be able to take the radio now and still hear the oscillator. And then I'll be able to watch those blinking LEDs in there. And I should be able to observe a slowdown or hear, hear a slowdown in the rate as the moisture comes out of the air into those desiccant packets. I should be able to see that the uh, one right there get wet, just like this one here is getting wet as the moisture is sucked out of the air in that little chamber. And this will be my little experiment to see if the moisture in the air is affecting these dry crystalline cells. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with the way this one's hanging in there. Normally these little cells that I make, as soon as they dry out, they stop and uh, everything goes into a state of uh, hibernation until you get them wet again then they off they go again now I have done some where I put some of this uh, calcium chloride on the uh, the cell and that kept it going depending on the humidity in the air now I live at the beach where I have high humidity humidity right now in the house is about 67 percent it's uh, pretty darn high some of the places where it's 80 percent like uh, tropical areas um, you could probably make these type of batteries, uh, the water type, and just use moisture out of the air and they would run as long as uh, the metals lasted. Now, you wouldn't have to put any water on them. But what I want to see is if this thing will truly run in a dry environment and how that performs when the air is dry. So anyway, that's my little test to see if the, uh, the little crystalline battery will run this oscillator in a dry environment. Thanks for watching.